สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Sai and today we are going to cook another recipe of my fried rice. Today we're gonna make butter garlic fried rice served with steak and pickled egg yolk. Mwah. Another recipe that I love so much. Now let's see all the ingredient you need. And this is the ingredient for fried rice. We need green lid light soy sauce. This one. Use any brand. Light soy sauce, white lid. This one. And chopped garlic, chopped spring onion, sliced garlic, optionals, and oil for frying the garlic. Finely chopped carrot. Leftover jasmine rice. If you don't have it, just cook the rice and fritter it in the refrigerator until it's nice and cold. And butter, pork seasoning or chicken seasoning. This one is optional. Also, is the salt. It's just for your taste. And that is the ingredient for fried rice. For the steak, we have glass fed rib eye over here, salt and pepper, and I also got beef taro for grill for searing the beef. It's gonna be yummy. This is the recipe for. Pickle egg yolk. You need four egg yolk, fresh one. We need syrups, and we need soy soy sauce and freshly sliced garlic. And you can add sesame seed if you like, or fresh chopped chili. A first step before you go and grill and do the stir fry, let's do the pickle egg first. Add some soy first. If you use if you use sugar instead of syrup, heat this one in, on the pot, and then add sugar make until the sugar is melt. Then wait for the sauce to get cold. Then you can add your egg. I'm gonna add a little bit of syrup. And then do the test. More sugar. Now I got the flavor that I need. We add the egg gently, and then just a little bit of sliced fresh garlic. That's it. That's enough. Close the lid and put it in the refrigerator. Three hour, four hour before we eat, or you can do this before you cook. Now that you know all the ingredient, let's prep our steak. Let's get it grilled. We have our steak over here that need to pat dry. First, we're gonna pat it dry first with a paper towel before seasoning. The steak leave it outside in the room temperature before you cook. Now I'm not, I'm not an expert in cooking. Steak, but if you have any other trip and tricks that you want to recommend me, feel free to do that. I'm gonna exhaust all the blood out. Ah, yes. Let's get it dry. I think that will be enough. Now let's seasoning with some salt. Normally, I prefer pink salt, but I don't have that in the kitchen at the moment. And some pepper. Flip to another size. And pepper. While you're seasoning your steak, go ahead and heat your pan while you wait. I heat up my Pan over here, nice and hot. Now I'm gonna add some taro oil, taro fat. You don't call it oil, and cha. If you don't have this, you can just use any oil that you like. And then I'm gonna sear my steak about 45 
second each size I like my one rare to medium rare all right let's flip to another size beautiful I'm counting in my mind if I haven't talked to you I'm counting one two three four five six four six seven six eight six Okay, now on the side too. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now you can blast it with butter and thyme and garlic. But our main ingredient today is the rice. So so I'm gonna rest the beef in the tin foil, wrap it up. By the time that we cook the rice, it should be ready. Now put our steak on the sides. Time for the work. We're gonna make stir fry garlic. I have my coconut oil over here. Just pour that in and then add the garlic in. Stir fry until it's nice golden brown. Um, use like low heat. This will cook quick. Almost done. See the color? I think that's this enough. I turn the heat off and then quickly put it in the strainer. It will continue to cook. So if you wait to just a little bit cream, that's enough. Take it off. See? Prepare some paper towel and then just put it like that and split it. Let it dry and it will be beautiful, crispy brown, golden brown, like that. And set it aside. In the same wok, just put all the oil out and turn the heat on. Add our butter, which are, and our minced garlic. Stir fry until fragrant. If you're gonna add pork in this one, you, you're not gonna serve with steak, you can add the pork at right at this moment. As soon as the garlic fragrant, you add the minced pork in and cook until it's nice and brown and you add rice and carrot. All right, I'm gonna add the rice in now. Coat it with all the butter, then we add our carrot. By the time we're seasoning, the carrot will be cooked. This carrot is a way to hit in the kid to eat some vegetables. As soon as the rice go in, I don't use to cook it with this one. I like it with the flat one better. We taste the rice first. If we need to add salt or not. Need a little bit of salt. That's not a little bit. <laughs> and some pork seasoning. A little bit. Mm. Mm. That's it. 
All right, I'm gonna serve this on the plate and let's eat. Now let's cut the steak up. Let's see. Are you ready? Ta-da! Cut it. Let's see this steak. Yeah. Let's have a look. You call that medium? Medium or medium rare? <laughs> anyway, I love that. Love that pink. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it from here. It smells amazing. Last night, I've been trying to do this thing here. Look at what I did. Look at what I did. It's a leaf. Oh. Oh. How is that? It's pretty. All right. Yeah. Ta-da. Sprinkle some spink onion on top. <laughs> and then I'll make you. Yes, look at that. And don't forget the garlic. And there you have it everyone, stir fry butter and garlic served with steak. Let's do the test test shall we? Let's see. Look at this egg. Oh. Look at that. Let's have a bite of the garlic rice with some steak on top and a piece of garlic cheers you guys mm. so good mm. Mm. perfect combination mm -hmm. The rice so buttery, garlicky, so aroma and soft. You can't even barely taste the um, the carrots. So the kid totally they're gonna fall in love with you. All right, you guys. I hope you guys try this recipe out and don't forget to let me know what do you think about this dish. And if you like my cooking video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.